Hello, how do there, chums? Today, chums, I'm doing a little bit of a base tour, but while I'm going around this lovely base, I am also going to be delivering a little bit of news. If I can find a teleporter, let me show you this base, because this base is freaking insane. And if I can get around my ship, there we go. It's a bit of a big ship, isn't it? That iron freaking vulture. Anyhow, look at this. It's a giant airship. I mean, look at it. It's freaking fantastic, isn't it? You're probably wondering, well, who the fudge created this? I'll let you know in a second, people. But yeah, we're going to take a quick walk around that. So yeah, here we go. So it was made by Stormageddon RH. Let's head on down this little sort of ramp thing here. Okay, there's a nice staircase. Coolio, there's no way to slide down these rails. Now, if I do find a teleporter in here, I want to show you something rather curious. Then I also want to share with you a little bit of Stuff that I've found online from another content creator. Well, this has taken me a month for Sundays. Right, let's let's just jump off this thing and let's just fall, shall we? There we go. We made it down the ladder. Yeah, nice and safely. Health and safety, completely out the window. We've got these little Gek holograms that make Viking noises. I love your cannons. Freaking great. I guess they are. Right, hopefully there's going to be a teleporter somewhere inside of this actual base. Let's have a look down here. Sounds like other ships are landing right now, people. Holy fudge, well, what's this area? Okay, well, all those Viking noises are kind of a little bit annoying, aren't they? Okay, so we've got all the refiners down here. Let's just go down into this area, shall we? Cool. We've got loads of storage inside of here, lots of vaults. Pretty darn lovely. Heck yeah. Pretty cool. Even more down here. Aha! And here's my teleporter over this way, people, that I was hoping to hit up and have a look at. Let's go and have a look-see. Now, it looks like someone might be trying to find me in here. And I don't think it's the actual maker of this base. Yeah, I've got, I got some rando here. Hello, random person. Righto. Okay, well, sadly, I'm doing a video right now, my friend. So, you know what? I'm just going to just... Don't just going to turn off multiplayer just for a little bit. Yeah, I could do about that, to be fair. Cool, yeah. And uh, we'll head on over to the actual teleporter terminus. But anyway, thanks for joining us. But I am making a video, and I'm trying to make a, a point amongst all these Viking sound effects. Hello, games. Fix these gag holograms. Dang it. Okay, right. So here we go. Let's go into here. Now, all of my bases, if I hit your bases and scroll all the way down, I can see all the bases that I made during expeditions and rendezvous bases, and also bases from Cross Save. I'm seeing all sorts here. I'm seeing a lot of my bases. So I really don't know what's going on, but then I'm not seeing some of my bases that I made back in my creative save from years ago. Or some I am and some I aren't. It's like I'm not seeing my giant Sentinel Titan amongst these, unless I've gone past it. But I'm seeing a few from my creative save here, people. Now, there is some news out there inside of the Viewerverse where uh, if I can find a console in here to go and hit up for one second. Oh, this thing will do. Here we go. Let's go and hit this up. I'll show you Ghostlight's video on cross saves and what that bomber boy has shared over on Twitter. So here we go, people. Execute him on now. Okay, so this is a portion of Ghostlight's video and he talks about something that that bomber boy has posted over on the Twitter space. So let's uh, turn the volume up. Let's hit play. Now, as I was saying, Bomber posted some changes to the game files, which were made via an experimental branch update yesterday, June 11th. Strangely, no patch notes were added to SteamDB for this version. Now, that's likely because all of these files and features are not currently active in the experimental branch update. They were just added to the game as unused assets. Now, this could mean that Hello Games is slowly preloading assets for a coming update. That said, there's also a chance that these files were just being tested and may end up being removed later. Cool. So what are these files? Well, I'm uh, glad you asked. I was about to First, ask. Yeah. Some of the updated game files appear to reference new cooking recipe titles that have yet to be attributed to any in-game item. Now you can see in this post by that bomber boy, Fruity pudding is already a recipe in game, but the items highlighted in yellow, syrupy nectar, seeping pie, mm. mucilant tart. Quite yeah. a lot of new ones. Now, 
two of these recipes may be related to bug byproducts with bee meat and bug jam. Bug jam, yeah. But this is in line with what we've seen in previous updates. Further expanding on the ever-growing list of cooking recipes. Why though? Much like the biscuit recipes with the Omega update. But no one really cooks, why? Now next, we see what appears to be text hinting at changes made to the Sentinel Walker UI. Now, these added text entries reference a Sentinel Walker boss HUD, similar to that of the Pirate Dreadnought. Mm. You can see in the files here, the shields here are likely referencing a shield bar that gets reduced as you destroyed the existing varied armor component. So they might be it's making the walker, the walker tougher as well. It does seem that the walker itself is getting a health bar added as well. Now this could mean that the Sentinel Walker may prove a more formidable boss fight. Pretty in a epic. Update. Pretty cool, must say. And finally, this last component is more than just text prompts hinting at a new feature. This is something the community has been begging for for years. Better multiplayer. What is it? Well. It's cloud saves and cross-save <laughs> compatibility. Now, awesome. per that bomber boy, Hello Games has had a developer-only cloud save server endpoint active for about a month, but recently that endpoint was pushed from dev only to QA, signaling Whoa. that they're ready to begin testing. But testing what? Like, what does it all mean? Well, has he activated the new experimental it? branch game files added a new cloud save menu Bomber as well Boy's as gonna a toggle it on, to isn't help link your device to an hg account okay. now, these assets in game aren't currently working um that bomber boy forced them active into Brilliant. his game like he did with the station it type seems that this new feature will make it possible to play any of your saved games across any supported device or platform now i'm sure show us an image limitations looking at you nintendo switch but <laughs> oh yeah this I is so. very promising and there's even some talk about upgrading a save from any major version to the current one which is something that faces some limitations currently so what do you think are you excited for walker boss huds yes uh, new pie recipes not so much cross save compatibility yes a little let me know like in yeah the comments because below because of the old multiplayer and that's it I hope you enjoyed this episode well, of Cheers, Ghost Light. Please like nice and subscribe. One. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss Go any ahead. future videos. Now, I must say, Ghost is becoming an awesome source for news. I really like the way that he puts his little HUD together. He's got an awesome voice as well. If you haven't subscribed to Ghost Light, hit him up. He's well worth your subscription and his watch time and your watch time because he's brilliant. He really is good. Go check him out. Check out Ghost Light. I'll put a link to his video inside of the video description. But he also shows the HUD, the UI HUD. I don't, I must have missed it. It must have been back here somewhere. But yeah, it's there. And um, it's very sort of basic at the moment. I'm fairly sure Hello Games is going to flesh it out a little bit more. Anyway, back over to me inside. Right, well, yeah. we reconvene in what looks like the captain's deck. This is probably the best place for me, to be fair. I mean, it's got a big freaking chair there for me to sit in. Let's see if I can get in that, people. Yeah, here we go. Let's sit in there. Lovely jubbly. Go into your camera mode. So I do think that that could be on the cards, people. I do think we might be getting cloud saves in a very near future update, which is going to be pretty darn freaking epic. And I'm hoping alongside that, maybe a few more fixes to the old multiplayer. Because at the mo moment, multiplayer has me a little bit concerned, especially since they're making a new game like No Fire where the main core element is hooking up with friends online and building on one planet and exploring said one planet. Right now in No Man's Sky, as you know, the multiplayer has been a bit flaky for the last, what, three years or so. And we're doing an event called Light No Sky where we're trying to play No Man's Sky, Light Light No Fire. Myself, Ricey and Professor Cynical. If you haven't seen our videos, or if you fancy joining us, because yet yeah, we're still looking for people to join, hit up my little welcome video over there. Yes, you don't have to join the 07 Brew Crew, but you know, we are the best. Ha ha ha! I say that, Ricey won last time, the Empire. So if you want to be on the winning side, you might want to pick Ricey. But yeah, or you can choose the Crayon Eaters, the Crayola Kingdom. 
Uh, they done loads of sneaky tactics, the sneaky little gecks. Heck yeah! So if, if you like sneaky stuff and stealthy stuff, maybe join them. But anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you in this episode. Cross save, cloud save, multiplayer fixes could be inbound in the next update. Or at least by the tail end of this year, I reckon, people, at the very latest. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve. Captain, Captain Steve. Thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Chargy. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Y2K. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, then keep my channel going on.